Hey guys, I've got a great story to share with you today. We helped a family sell their home and we negotiated for $651,000 over our listing price. This is unheard of in South San Jose. Stay tuned and I'll show you the home. Hey guys, it's Michael Saldana with the Amanda Vang team. We have a great story to share with you today. We met this home seller about six to seven months ago and at that time they weren't ready to sell. We know it doesn't happen overnight, but we worked with them through the process. We had plenty of time to prepare their home for sale and to make sure it was great and presentable online and in person. Without further ado, let's get started and I'll show you this beautiful home. This home is a little more than 2,200 square feet has four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And one of my favorite features about it is something that I call no neighbor in front of you. What that means, it's exactly what it sounds. Let's take a look at this. There's no neighbor in front of you. So when you walk out of the front of your house, there's just this beautiful view of the Santa Teresa Hills. And um, it's really cool. It's really gorgeous. This is very nice. There's some nice landscaping and trees and flowers, but this thing, uh, no neighbor in front of you. What a sight to behold, especially in the Bay Area. Very cool, let's take a look at this home. It has a nice stucco and wood exterior. Very functional. These flowers add a lot of color and pop to the front of the house and really improve the curb appeal. I really like this tree. There's not a lot of shade right now, but I imagine when it has leaves, it's probably really beautiful. Let's take a look inside. First thing you'll notice is this nice foyer, tile flooring for durability. It has a vaulted ceiling, so it's very tall here. You've got the staircase upstairs, an entryway and a step down into one of the living areas, but we'll start over here into the front living area. Uh, I like that it has a vaulted ceiling, windows on both sides. Through this front window, you can observe my favorite feature of the house, the no neighbors in front of you. You can see just this beautiful lush green grass and the hill and some of your landscaping. What a perfect view to enjoy your home. Uh, let's take a look over here. We take a quick step up and this is gonna be your formal dining area. So there's plenty of room for a table. Uh, you could fit maybe as many as eight people here. Um, there's a nice crown molding or a feature in the ceiling, which kind of gives it a, um, really sets a nice space. And it goes with the chandelier, very beautiful. Let's take a look at this kitchen. It is very spacious. I love it. They've done another uh, coffered ceiling. This one has what's called a crown dental molding because it looks like small little rectangular teeth. It's my favorite design, very cool. They have a really nice stove, granite countertops, cab lots of cabinet space, lots of room. Um, very cool, nice kitchen design. One thing that you'll notice is that this house does not have a new interior paint job. We always recommend that for our clients because it is one of the highest return on investment items. But unfortunately, it did not fit in our seller's budget for this house. However, we were still able to get some nice staging and do all the necessary touch-ups and fix-ups. So the house still looks very nice in person. Uh, this area is a nice smaller dining area. You could have a small table here for breakfast or whatever you want to use. And then you can take another quick step down over here. This is the second living room. There's a fireplace, entry into the garage, and then also a uh, half bathroom. Let's take a look outside into the backyard. This backyard is very spacious. It has a lot of landscaping, some plants, a lot of features, rocks, this nice cement patio, a gazebo, kind of this covered pergola structure. This is a really nice backyard, very quiet. You can hear the birds. This would be a great place to spend some time, especially now the weather's getting more warm. <laughs> Uh, over here, even on the side of the house, they make great use of this lot. So there's still some plants. Here is the orange tree. Very cool. It is lush and ripe with oranges. Amazing. I think that we're going to take a bag of those home with us today and uh, make sure that they're put to good use. Very nice. Over here, this looks like a lime tree. Oh, I remember the owner was telling this is a very special um, uh, Filipino lemon tree. Uh, very special, very rare, very cool. <laughs> okay, and over here, this leads to the front. So yeah, really good use of space, even on this really wide side yard, just 
a lush landscape of plants. Okay, let's take a look at the other side of this house. So over here, we actually have a shed. So, you know, instead of the landscape on the other side, we have a storage shed, a very large storage shed. Let's take a look inside. Let's see what, oh yeah, this is tremendous. This is tremendous. Wow, very cool. Do a lot with this space. Okay, over here we've got the air conditioning unit and uh, kind of another mixed use space and then also access to the garage. One cool thing I wanted to point out are these concrete fences. These fences are made of concrete, so they're thicker and more durable. And as you can imagine, pretty much soundproof, very isolating. I actually like it in terms of, you know, uh, a barrier. Very cool. Um, another thing I noticed about this backyard that I really like is they have a small gazebo in the corner over there. Look at that, a nice little additional sitting area and even a little extension of the gazebo over there. Very cool. All right, over here we have the half bathroom, easy access. Right here we've got the laundry room attached to the garage, perfect location. And in here we have a very spacious garage, shelving, overhead storage, water heater, furnace, everything that you need. I like this little tool bench over there. Looks like they got a water softener built in too. Full of the features, very cool. All right, let's go back inside the house. Now we're gonna go take a look upstairs at the bedrooms. I really like this floor plan. This floor plan is popular because all the common areas on the bottom floor and all the bedrooms, the sleeping areas, are on the top floor. So, very functional for a growing family. Here we are at the top of the stairs. It's nice that they have kind of this mezzanine where you can reach over and look over the front foyer and the front living room. It's nice to have this open space because it makes the house feel much more open. Um, first off, we have the primary bedroom right here. Uh, one very unique feature is that it has a step-up area. Um, this area is nice because it kind of, it's, a, it's its own separate space where you can maybe set up a desk and have a work area and there's a window so you have great lighting. Uh, another option is maybe you can convert this into a walk-in closet. Very cool. Over here, we've got the bathroom area. So, got to have some closet storage on the side here, a sink, a toilet, and then a glass enclosure for a shower, everything that you need. What a cool primary bedroom. I really like this, especially that extra office feature. Very nice. All righty, this is gonna be bedroom number two. So this is gonna face uh, the same as the front side of the house. So this is experiencing your no neighbors in front of you view. Let's take a look at how this looks today. Yep, there are still no neighbors in front of us. Yep, I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. So this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the prime bedroom so your kids can fight over it. They can do the rock, paper, scissors, or they can maybe have a race, whoever's fastest gets this room. Just, just getting the parents ready, just, yeah. Okay, it's also, that room is also close to the bathroom, so it's probably a good thing, you know, so you have uh, less distance to cover, so uh, just one consideration. I really like the work that they've done in here. It has a very Greek, a very, um, or a very like porcelain Greek, like our columns and the, the marble stone feel. It's very nice. Um, over here is gonna be, this is gonna be bedroom number three. Um, has a nice view. We've got some great sunlight in the evening, closet, uh, everything that you need. All right, over here, we've got bedroom number four. This bedroom is a little bit larger than the other two bedrooms that we looked at. So um, it faces uh, the direction away from the hills, but uh, you've got kind of a nice view where you can see almost the horizon, uh, some trees, very nice. Um, but this room's a little bit bigger, so you could maybe do something different with it, like set up an actual home office perhaps. All right guys, thanks for joining us today. Don't forget if you're interested in learning more about how we can sell your home for up to 18% above the neighborhood average, we have a proven listing strategy Get in touch with us today. Our contact information is below. Thanks for your time. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye.